What's up, Reefers? Welcome to another episode. This is Alex Wilson, your host, and this is Alex Pora Corals, where you're going to see a lot of the good, the bad, and the ugly, and where I'm adding dehydrated chicken manure to my reef aquariums. That's right. You heard it right. Chicken manure. The yellow tang loves it. He eats it. Not sure why, but he prefers that over his nori, and we're going to see if the acroporas like uh, the chicken manure and the other the other coral so far, so let's check it out. Alright, here's the next day on the display aquarium and there was an still has a little bit of an algae bloom but it has gone down a little bit, a couple notches from the last couple days. And so happy about that. And keep an eye on that. Here's my coral scrubber coral scrubber system growing corals here and whatever else um, it's kind of like a whole separate system running opposite as the main system running at night and I'm getting some brown algae in there so probably gonna have to stir it up a little bit gonna be looking forward to uh, getting some snails down here too maybe transferring over some of the abalone that I have in the quarantine aquarium and some other ones that I did order so I ordered some uh, true just true nails and a few astria nails so let's see how those do as well and so look forward to those when they come in order those from top shelf but down here I have the big guy you pour there so I just turned on the light right now so everybody's closed up there's the pulsing Xenia as well but so yeah he was opened up pretty good so he's doing okay so good so far there and then yellow tanks back there and come on dude come on out I haven't seen this one eat the manure yet but that's to be continued well I'll have to check that out so I haven't put that much down here most of that do put us up top so, but yeah, as of now, I'm adding it, still adding it, but I'm adding it uh, not just um, freely, I'm just kind of trying to add it as I, as needed, as I see the phosphates mainly go down and the nitrates go down too low. So I'm trying to keep the phosphates um, at like between 1.5, well, no, 1 to between 0.15 and uh, 0.2 parts per million on the systems here and um, and the quarantine aquarium went up as high as 0.6 parts per million on the phosphate and so it's kind of interesting to see um, you know I know that Than at uh, Tidal Gardens he was saying as far as his take on nutrients you know is that uh, the higher the better, you know, that he hasn't seen any problems, uh, you know, with his, in, including the SPS, it was small polyp corals, except for the Acropora, and the Acropora did, sh you know, they, he's saying, well, they did sh it still grow, it's just that they uh, might not grow quite as fast, and they certainly didn't have as, um, as nice, probably as vibrant as colors as he has. I guess they lowered it down to the, probably lowered it down into the, I'm not sure how far, but lowered it down to a much, much lower range. And yeah, they, you got uh, the, a little bit more vibrant colors or vibrant growth off of them. So that being the case, you know, I'm not going too crazy. I'm not gonna go, I, I noticed them did darken up in general as they started to get up there to the 0.4, probably up to the 0.6 parts per million on the phosphate, so that I'm going to uh, try to keep it down, you know, right where I want it at, at 0.2 to up to 0.15 and see how that goes. But I'm also testing every other day. I think that's a good idea, as a, as I heard on the, that those seems to be a good idea to keep a tight track of it, you know, just to make sure that it you know can either way just like the the nitrate too i mean we can creep creep right up on you or creep right down on you you know without you realizing it just from 
just from a couple days, you know, so with algae growth and corals and whatever else, so definitely seeing that it jumps around a lot and it's uh, good to be testing it, you know, and seeing what it's trending, if it's going up or going down and, and how you, how far you, you expect, how high you expect it to go and what you're going to do about it and how low you expect it to go and what you can do about that. So, you know, adding, you know, adding more nutrient export. In my case, I add uh, no pox and if it gets too low and then I'll, I'll add more food and more dehydrated chicken manure. That's right, dehydrated chicken manure to the system. And there has a few instances where I added uh, two, the chicken manure and I did see it fall down on a few of the corals on uh, I think you know on the fuzzy mushroom rock and on um, a few of the other corals and they definitely seemed to have a negative reaction to it like it was like they thought they were kind of under attack by something they threw out their with intestines like they were trying to attack something for just uh, maybe a couple hours and then after that um, they were okay but they didn't eat it I didn't notice I didn't notice them actually eating it so anyway that's that one down there and that's the coral the coral scrubber scrubbing those uh, nutrients right out of the water so here's the main system it's uh not uh, the algae bloom has definitely died down a little bit. Got my fuzzy mushrooms over here. Keep an eye on my uh, Euphelia right there. I got the I got the frog spawn and a hammer. Frog spawn's not quite opening up as much, so not as much as it was in the quarantine system. So keep an eye on them. This elegant's doing okay. So. I did order a whole bunch of corals, so many corals. I think I ordered probably about 28 different corals, and uh, most of them are Acropora frags. And um, let's see, one orange citosa. I'm going to try that, uh, one Montipora, because those have always faded out on me, so I thought I'd try one of those, as well as one bird's nest. And um, I'm gonna, then I'm probably going to get uh, one more Ganyopora and the rest of them are going to be all of the Acropora. So hopefully I'll be able to keep them alive and they won't die. But check it out because they will be officially manure Acropora. It's probably the first uh, manure, first manure yellow tanga manure. You saw it first here, folks. Manure reefing. Manure Acropora and Coral Scrubbers. Alright guys, here's the clams and the Blue Maxima. I'll put them back to right there in that little rock right there. He, he's going to like it there. He's propped up a little bit there. Got the Golden One and the Squamosa. They're on their, their frag rock there. They're hanging out there. They're cool. And then I put the small Golden One right there on a smaller piece like of a curved piece of rock right there. But he kind of fell off a little bit so I'm going to put him back up. But I'm going to try to get him stuck on there, it should be good, he'll be propped up there a little bit and then I can easily move him around. So let's check out the close up of the Porites and the Christmas tree worm rock, it's looking pretty good. And of course these are micro, super small Christmas worm rocks and just about need a micro, uh, uh, magnifying lens to see these guys as well as the parietes but they seem to be really happy and it's uh that's just one side of the rock the other side of the rock it's got some more growth it's got some coralline algae on it but hopefully it's uh the parietes seems to be a pretty slow grower would say but let's check it out We've got the green slimer still got the good so has good color, good polyp extension, and he seems to be, call me crazy, but he might be growing about a millimeter there, so I'll keep an eye on him. Bubbles, looking pretty crazy. They can't throw freely as well. And of course, the, the super huge Heliofungi over here in the back. 
check him out over here. And yet, yeah, he's on his uh, tile that I put him on. And yet, yeah, you know, he's so big, he flops around, and you can't even hardly see it if he just barely is expanded out like he is now. So that should work out right there. And got the few of the gonio pores right here. All right, that's about it. Let's check out the quarantine system really quick. It's about the same. Looking forward to getting the new corals in here. I got in here, like I said, probably 28 corals went crazy, but I'm really gonna try to uh, fill this this one up to get that 70% of the surface area covered up with either corals or coralline algae, so that uh, we could really uh, so that the corals out compete. The algae for nutrients and won't have uh, problems there. So yeah, look forward to getting those in here. These guys are probably going to move over to the disc main display aquarium. And let's see. Check out this side over here. There's one of those snails. Let's check him out. So I left two of them in here. And uh, I'd like to get Put, put them over there in the main display, but I don't want to take them all out, so I'm going to have at least two in here. And then a lot of times, these um, abalone, they like to hide, like, right against the glass. So they kind of, like, hide right in against the, the, crush, the rock right there, and they're hard to see. Hi, right, guys. I guess that's it. Check for the next update. New corals coming soon. Also got a um, few... Uh, a cleaner shrimp. No, it's a peppermint shrimp. So hopefully that, you know, just in case you hit the aptasia here and there. Alright guys, happy reefing. Bye.